so shit, sorry. Uh, wait. It was 11.44 when I looked at the clock. Probably about 11.45 now, maybe. Because um, that clock wrong, don't pay no attention to that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pull cards from the Revelations deck. Um, I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner tarot reader still, so I'm going to explain to you guys how I'm learning while I'm doing it. So I was watching um, another YouTube. I've been watching other readings recently. So um, I'm gonna pull all the cards from one deck at once and just. That's not specifically what they do, but you know, you take what you feel like is good for you and then you do what you feel like. 107 when I said that and 109 as well. Um, you take what you feel like is good for you and you apply it in whatever way spirit tells you to apply it. So um, this is for the collective. I'll take that from other uh, readers as well. This is, I didn't used to like to speak too much, used to like to speak so much this is for the collective this is a collective reading i just read myself so and i shuffled the cards kind of before i did that but yeah so we are in love energy and yeah i'm going off of vibes and that's how i'm moving so this is a collective reading this is not for Me. Okay, I'm done. So I'm not reading all these damn cards, y'all. Like, they really got me, like, fucked the thing up. <laughs> Somebody got a lot going on in their goddamn life, and I'm done pulling cards. Wow. 33333333 at that point. So I'm gonna separate these because I feel like it's a lot of separate energy because it's talking about the collective, I guess. So I'm gonna separate it. And yeah, energy, I feel like it's supposed to be separated in. And I'm gonna just have to do several different videos. So these all I feel like go together. And I'm gonna start with those. Well, this was sideways. So, I'm gonna start like that. The first card I have is 419, Ace of Wands, and It says the fires of life are a light around the wand of inspiration here marks the birth of all creation. Okay, I feel like that's enough said because I'm trying to make this quick and snappy. So the next card we got is four of wands and that's it reverse. Hmm. 
There will be instability through radical change as life breaks away from itself. So I feel like, yeah, that's gonna happen in your life. You gonna have this sudden aha moment of I'm fucking powerful, I can do everything. And then at the end of the day, it's gonna also be like, you know, um, what is it? Sorry. Slow down, stop fidgeting, and allow things to settle themselves. So just relax as you're going through this change. Um, I understand that completely. Um, Seven of Cups was sideways, so I feel like, and it fell sideways again, so I feel like it's out of the both of them. So, uh, you know, what they say, duality. We live in two worlds at the same time. Well, we live in several different worlds at the same time. But, yeah. All that glitters is my goal, and nothing is as it seems. Illusions play, illusions play with his heart. Options surround you in abundance, but all is not what it seems. Many of these choices may seem alarming, but ultimately they may, may not be what you imagined. Caution is urged in the face of making a decision, and patience may prevail you as you observe closely what there is to offer. So yeah, just pay attention to what's going on around you. In situations, you may feel that you are being forced to make a decision, Often it could be between people in relationships, past or within a career. She take uh, the reverse side says she takes her dreams, she takes hold of her dreams and breaks free to make more of it. The reverse of this card urges you to take hold of the fantasies and illusions before you find the drive within yourself to reach them. It recommends using your inner power within. It recommends using your inner power to make these illusions come to life by drawing from your own resources and not waiting for external external forces to deliver you, to deliver. You owe it to yourself to try. In relationships, the time has come to stop wishing for something better and actually go out and seek it. Find the ideal partner within yourself first before you look to others. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. Okay, then next is Queen of Swords. And it was upright, so I feel like basically you a sharp woman, you intelligent, not a woman, but you know, you 744. So maybe you a woman, but I gotta say you versatile as well. So you a sharp, versatile person, and I'm making some moves, y'all. And you live in both worlds, and you understand things, and you know how to speak and articulate yourself, like moi, like myself, okay? Eight on one, <laughs> so yeah, but uh, all of those good things, and then Eight of Pentacles. He works hard in the darkness, he has goals and ambitions, and he's going to put it back into it. So, you're gonna work hard for whatever you're trying to do in your life because that's just how you move, and that's how you're supposed to move, and that's the only way you're gonna get to where you're going. So then the next card is Page of Cups. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show y'all a few of these cards. They beautiful. All of that good stuff. Um, so Page of Cups. She rejoices in her cup. It represents her intuition, which she holds dear. The Page of Cups represents the dawning of intuition within oneself. So it's the beginning of understanding that you know how to maneuver through love and you know how to maneuver through your own love, your self-love and your emotions and whatever you're feeling at that time. Like they say, you know, thoughts aren't you, your thoughts or whatever aren't you. It's just a, it's just something passing by 915. It's just something 